This program contains experiments which are performed by professionals. These tests are dangerous and may involve the use of hazardous materials. They should not be performed or imitated under any circumstances. In this episode, the wood stove. It uses more air to produce less pollution. It's the miracle of dual combustion. A wood stove. Just chuck in some wood, light it, and enjoy the warmth of the fire. Believe it or not, there's not just one fire inside, but two. By creating two combustion zones, this wood stove maximizes heat production while minimizing pollution. How does it create two combustion zones when it only has one combustion chamber? This wood stove optimizes the chemical reaction known as fire by doubling it. It burns so efficiently, it minimizes the quantity of polluting gases that escape through the chimney. Fire first needs a combustible, such as wood. It also needs oxygen to feed the chemical reaction. Air vents in the front and back provide the oxygen. They're strategically placed to create two combustion zones. One above the logs in the main combustion chamber and a second one higher up. Thanks to these two combustion zones, the banal wood stove becomes a high-performance combustion machine. A high-performance combustion machine built to generate and sustain the most heat possible. It's also built to optimize convection and radiation, spreading the heat safely while sending smoke and leftover gases up the chimney. So how does it work? There's only one way to find out. This stove is made of solid steel and weighs in at 188 kilograms. It has two primary air vents that draw in oxygen needed to fuel the fire. This air vent has a handle to control the quantity of air entering the stove. The other primary vent brings oxygen in at the back of the stove. On conventional stoves, that would be it. But this one boasts dual combustion. These secondary vents direct oxygen to a second combustion zone in the same chamber to burn off more harmful gases. To retain and give off maximum heat, the stove has an airtight door, fire bricks, a firewall, and additional ceramic fiber insulation for safety and energy efficiency. It also has a chimney. The stove's high performance comes from having not one, but two distinct combustion zones. How is that possible inside the same single combustion chamber? It all has to do with how the air gets in and where it ends up. Oxygen that feeds the first combustion zone enters from side vents, eats up as it rises, and enters the combustion chamber just above the door window. The incoming air is cooler and heavier than the hot air in the chamber, so it immediately drops to the base of the fire. That movement of air is thermal convection at work, it also keeps the smoke from settling and blackening the window. The second primary vent feeds the fire from behind. Since there's only so much gas one combustion zone can consume, a second combustion zone near the top of the chamber is created by air fed into a series of holes in tubular vents. That air heats up fast on its way in, barely affecting the temperature in the chamber. Conventional wood stoves spew about 30 grams of non-combustible waste from the chimney every hour. This one, with two combustion zones, produces less than 7.5 grams per hour. That's 75% less polluting. The gases that resist double combustion are expelled through the chimney. But how are they sucked up by this long, plain tube? Thermal convection again. Heat rises. And since the hot gases are less dense and lighter than the outside air, they're drawn up the chimney. The movement of the air creates a draft that pulls the smoke and gases up and out the chimney. True, the wood stove loses some precious heat this way, but there's no way around it since it's the heat that lifts the gases up and out. Once the hot gases go up the chimney, a vacuum is created and fresh air rushes in. That's what creates the draft essential to the proper functioning of this engineering miracle. The wood stove's flickering flame sure is nice to look at, 
But way more impressive is the invisible engineering that surrounds the flame, creating two combustion zones, maximizing heat, minimizing pollution.